Hi guys, how are you? This is Lois Gidiga, the principal at Milela Immigration Services Canada. I am a regulated Canadian immigration and refugee consultant based here in Calgary, Alberta. My friend, this video is for your education purposes. Please don't take this as legal advice. Should you need legal advice, head on to my website and book a consultation with me. I'll be happy to sit with you and evaluate your situation or answer your questions or even give you a second opinion, okay? Now, I want us to talk about controlled immigration numbers so that you know exactly what you want to pursue. That is what we are talking about. So Canada has said that from 2025 to 2027, they will have controlled immigration targets and they will reduce immigration levels. And you should look at my previous video that I just made. Uh, please look at that video. Uh, the link will be in the description part of this one. And Canada has said that international students in Canada and foreign workers in Canada will be reduced to 5% of the Canadian population by the end of 2026. Not next year, not this year, 2026, okay? Which means that it's going to be on a steady decline, okay? 5%, okay? Um, this means that with the reduced work permits, with the reduced international students, it will lead to reduced permanent residents in Canada, okay? Right? Now, what does reduced PR mean? Because we really need to understand what that means. So it means that 40% of the people who will receive permanent residency in Canada in 2025, will people will be people who are already in Canada at that time. So next year, 40% of all permanent residents issued will be people who are already in Canada, either as students uh, or workers or even asylum seekers, people who are already contributing to the welfare of Canada. That still leaves 60%. It means that 60% will be people who will be coming from outside Canada. Isn't it the truth? Yes, because if 40% of the people who will get PR are already in Canada, then there's still 60%. Is that you? Are you among the 60% who are out there who will still come to Canada? Because as much as they're reducing the, the numbers, Canada still needs the numbers. Still, we still need immigrants. Maybe not at such a big you know, number like we had previously or we had previously targeted, but Canada will continuously need immigrants, okay? Now, 62%, now listen, 62% of all permanent residences that will be issued in Canada will be issued through the economic classes of immigration by 2027, okay? Economic classes, we really need to understand which are these economic classes and we shall talk about them briefly, okay? And Canada going forward, if you haven't seen this, I'm sure you've already seen, but Canada going forward is focusing on its priorities. So there is what they are calling categories in demand. And we can see categories in demand now in the federal skilled worker programs and also in the studies, because remember, they changed the studies and I'm gonna come here with a detailed video on the studies in Canada for international students so that you're able to uh, realign your goals, okay, with Canada, because that's what you need to be doing, okay, if that is still your goal to come to Canada. So, which are these occupations in demand when it comes to the economic classes? Uh, they are going to target mostly healthcare, okay? Mostly healthcare. And then we shall look at the trades. Uh, there's agriculture, there's the STEM categories, that is science, uh, technology, and engineering. And then, of course, there is transportation. The fifth category is the Francophone community, people who are bilingual, people who can speak French and English. Please, people, those are the main priorities of the Canadian government right now and going forward to the foreseeable future, as they are saying, up to 2027. So you better realign yourself. This then leaves that 38%, only leaves 38% of the peers 
to be obtained through the other categories like uh, family sponsorships, like uh, pilot programs and the general express entry. Because express entry is not extinct as it is. No, express entry has just shifted to the categories in demand. And we've seen that the numbers for the general uh, express entry have reduced because of the high points. Okay, and we shall look at that uh, in a minute when I look at individual categories for you. So, uh, which are these economic classes then that you need to focus on because we, they've said that 62% of PRs will come through the economic classes. We are talking of uh, the federal skilled worker programs. We are talking of the Canadian uh, uh, Canadian, Express, uh, Canadian experience class. We are talking of the ca categories in demand express entry. We are talking of uh, the provincial nomination uh, programs and then we are talking of the general uh, express entry okay so all those programs majority of those programs will still go through the express entry with the exemption of some of the provincial nomination programs okay so now what i want you to do come with me in the next video and we talk about these categories just so that you have a good understanding of which category applies to you and what are your chances of being invited in those categories guys okay so thank you so much for watching this video please uh like subscribe share it with anybody whom you feel would benefit and i hope to see you in my next video